Here's a fax from Cooter in Orlando who sends me a copy of a story that appeared in the Los Angeles Times. He says, a prestigious, uh, prestigious newspaper, not the off-maligned weekly World News. Quoting the story, in retrospect, lighting the match was my big mistake, but I was only trying to retrieve the gerbil. Eric Tomaszewski told the news doctors in the severe burns unit of Salt Lake City Hospital. Tomaszewski and his homosexual partner, Andrew Kinky Farnham, had been admitted for emergency treatment after a felching session had gone seriously wrong. I pushed a, pushed a cardboard tube up his rectum and slipped Raggett, our gerbil, in, he explained. As usual, Kiki shouted out, Armageddon! My, my cue, <laughs> he'd had enough. I tried to retrieve Raggett, but he wouldn't come out again, so I peered into the tube and <laughs> struck a match, thinking the light might attract him. <laughs> At a hushed press conference, the hospital spokesman <laughs> Describe what happened next. The match ignited a pocket of intestinal gas and flame shot out the tube, <laughs> igniting Mr. Tomachevsky's hair and severely burning his face. It also set fire to the gerbil's fur and whiskers, which in turn ignited a larger pocket of gas further up the intestine, propelling the rodent out like a cannonball. <laughs> Arm again! <laughs> <laughs> Tomaszewski suffered second-degree burns and a broken nose from the impact of the gerbil. <laughs> While Furnham suffered first and second-degree burns to his anus and lower intestinal tract. I'm <laughs> <Time> again! <laughs> into the tube and struck a match taking the light might make the gerbil come out. <laughs> so that's what felching is all about. <laughs> Armageddon! <laughs> Who says that? I didn't. Robert D. Raven on the John Bourne Billy Show. <laughs>